It takes a lot of education to keep us this stupid. The oligarchic empire is working harder and harder to bolt down our minds in service of its agendas. Silicon Valley is working more and more openly in conjunction with the U.S. government, and its algorithms elevate empire-authorized narratives while hiding unapproved ones with increasing brazenness. The mass media are now so blatantly propagandistic that U.S. intelligence operatives are now openly employed by news outlets they used to have to infiltrate covertly. NATO and military institutions are studying and testing new forms of mass-scale psychological manipulation to advance the still-developing science of modern propaganda. A transparently fake whistleblower is being promoted by the U.S. political media class to manufacture support for more internet censorship and shore up monopolistic control for institutions like Facebook who are willing to enforce it. Wikipedia is an imperial narrative control operation. The powerful work so hard at such endeavors because they understand something that most ordinary people do not. Whoever controls the dominant narrative about the world controls the world itself. Power is controlling what happens. Absolute power is controlling what people think about what happens. If you can control how people think about what's going on in their world, if you can control their shared how-it-is stories about what's happening and what's true, then you can advance any agenda you want to. You'll be able to prevent them from rising up against you as you steal their wealth, exploit their labor, destroy their ecosystem, and send their children off to war. You can keep them voting for political institutions you own and control. You can keep them from interfering in your ability to wage wars around the world and sanction entire populations into starvation to advance your geostrategic goals. This status quo of exploitation, ecocide, oppression, and war benefits our rulers immensely, bringing them more wealth and power than the kings of old could ever dream of. Like the kings of old, they are not going to relinquish power of their own accord which means the only thing that will bring an end to their rule and to their world-destroying status quo is the people rising up and using the power of their numbers to end it. Yet they don't rise up. They don't because they are successfully propagandized into accepting this status quo, or at least into believing it's the only way things can be right now. Imperial narrative control is therefore the source of all our biggest problems. And they're only getting more and more aggressive about it, more and more forceful, less and less sly and subtle in their campaign to control the thoughts that are in our heads. Many of those who have this realization see it as a cause for despair. I personally see it as a cause for hope. They work so hard to manufacture our consent for the status quo because they absolutely require that consent. History shows us that rulers do not fare well after a critical mass of the population has turned against them. And they're working harder and harder to manufacture that consent, even as extremely influential people begin questioning whether they're being deliberately deceived about everything. They used to look like someone using a bucket to bail out water from a leaky boat. Now they look like someone treading water, barely managing to get their mouth and nose high enough to take gasps of air. They are working harder and harder because they need to. The fact that the propagandists have to work so hard to keep our society this insane means the natural gravitational pull is towards sanity. They have to educate us into crazier and crazier ways of thinking from the moment we go to school until we die, because otherwise we'll collectively awaken and shake off their shackles. It takes a lot of educating to keep us this stupid. You think you're struggling? You should see the people trying to manufacture consent for a status quo that is both plainly insane and self-evidently unsustainable. They're the ones doing all the heavy lifting in this struggle. They're the ones fighting gravity. Hope is not a popular position to take in a world that is being abused, exploited, and being driven mad by manipulative sociopaths, which is understandable but I just can't help it. 
I look how hard they are struggling to keep the light from bursting in and driving out the darkness. And I can't help but think, those poor bastards can't keep that up much longer.